What's going on guys? I'm back. We got another recipe. This one, I don't love it, but I was surprised. In our first cookbook, we have a meatloaf recipe. It's called Mama's Meatloaf. And a lot of you emailed us saying that it's your favorite recipe in the cookbook. So if you guys don't know, Keto Made Easy, you can find it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, sometimes at the Costco and Target. In this cookbook, we have a really good meatloaf recipe. Today, we're gonna do a variation on that. The main thing with meatloafs is you need something in there to make it moist. Like in traditional meatloafs, they use breadcrumbs. We can't use breadcrumbs, too high carbs, so you have some options. In this one today, we're gonna be using ground up pork rinds, but in the cookbook recipe, we actually use hemp hearts which is surprisingly really good for meatloaf. You can also use flax meal, like ground up flax seeds. That's really good. Different fibers you can put in, but pork rinds, Parmesan cheese, and maybe some hemp hearts. Those are gonna be your best bets. So to start, we have a little over a pound of ground beef here. That's gonna be the base. And this is a really easy one. You just mix everything together, put it in a pan and bake it. So we have the oven preheating to 375. To start, I'm just gonna chop up about a quarter of a red onion. We're gonna be putting this in raw, so it, by the time it's done, it's not gonna be like fully cooked, so it'll still be a little bit of a crunch to it. Some people don't like that. And also guys, if you don't know, meatloaf always has some sort of like tomato topping to it. Some people do ketchup, some people do more barbecue sauce. We're gonna do a keto friendly barbecue sauce one for this. So get your onion chopped somewhat finely. And then we're just gonna add the onion in with the ground beef. And then here we have some pork rinds that are already ground up, but it's really easy if you don't have these, you can just put some pork rinds in a Ziploc bag and crush it, or you can use a food processor. So we're gonna add a half a cup of ground pork rinds. This is what's gonna preserve some of the moisture in this. You need it to be nice and moist. We're also gonna add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Ideally, you would get grated Parmesan cheese here. We have some shreds. That'll add some good flavor too. Then for the seasonings, we're gonna do salt, of course. A teaspoon or more, however much salt you like. Some freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna need a teaspoon of garlic powder and about a teaspoon or so of parsley. You could do some Italian seasoning, you could do some oregano. Feel free to do whatever you want seasoning wise, whatever you guys like. And then the last thing we're gonna need to add is just the egg. This is what helps bind it all together. I'm gonna start with mixing it with a spoon, but then you're gonna have to get in here with your hands at some point. Mix it all together. Okay, we got this pretty thoroughly mixed. And then all you gotta do, just put it in the loaf pan. I guess you can kind of preform it. Press it out to fit. And then once you have it formed into the loaf, which I like to do by using a loaf pan like this, you can also just free form it by hand. But once you do it like this, it's easier, but sometimes it's hard to get it out. There we go. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna bake this at 375. We're gonna make the sauce. We're gonna put the sauce on a little bit before it's completely baked. And once I get this in the oven, we can start making the sauce. Okay guys, time for the sauce. So what we're making is gonna be kind of a sweetened and flavored ketchup. And the base of it is going to be tomato paste, which is really good because it's kind of like a low carb hack because it packs in a ton of tomato flavor with minimal carbs. So we're gonna use two tablespoons. And just so you guys know, two tablespoons is gonna be four net carbs, but the flavor is gonna go a long way. And then to that, for some flavor, we're gonna add some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some salt. We're gonna do a teaspoon of vinegar. We're gonna use apple cider vinegar. I like how that goes with ketchup. It kind of like gives it a barbecue sauce taste. You can use white vinegar too though. Just a little teaspoon. And then a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. This has really good flavor. Gives it kind of like a smokiness. And we're gonna mix that together and then we're just gonna thin it out with some water. So you can see that's really thick, too thick. We're gonna need one to two tablespoons worth of water. So I added some water to it, now I'm mixing it. That's looking pretty good to me, you can see. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for the meatloaf to bake a little bit and we'll be back to top it. The meatloaf is done with the first cook. So now we're gonna top it with our mixture here, the sauce, and put it back in for another 10 to 15 minutes. Just spread it on nicely. And that is just a classic looking meatloaf. So we're gonna pop this back in for another 10 to 15 minutes. And we're done. That is looking great. And this is actually signature of meatloaf. This doesn't like get thin, it just turns into like a rock on top. It's like a ketchup rock on top of the meatloaf. That's typically how they are. You are going to want to let this rest for a solid 20 minutes, but we're not gonna do that here. We like cutting right into it. You're gonna lose a lot of the juices doing that though. So I'm just gonna get me a big slice. 
Yeah, see all the juice running out? You're losing all that. Looks great though. You really got some good textures going on in there and it's nice, like the cook time, it's nice and pretty. It's not rare, but I would say it's like medium. So let's give this a try. Get a little bit of the sauce. I don't really like onions that much. What do you think makes a meatloaf? Uh, tenderness. I would say it's the sauce. The sauce is really the key thing. This one is top notch. If you're just putting ketchup on your meatloaf, it's not that good. It has, you can taste the vinegar. It has like a nice balancing because a lot of times when you make meatloaf, it's just like one note. The vinegar kind of cuts through the fat. Good balance. The tomatoey taste, slightly sweet. You can also taste like the cheese, the pork rinds in there in the meatloaf. Overall, really good recipe. Easy to make, 20, 30 minutes, dinner for the whole family. Make a nice side dish to go with it. Link below in the description is the recipe post. It has the ingredients, the instructions, step-by-step -step how to make this recipe. KetoConnect.net, that's the food blog. Got tons of recipes there. We also have grocery guides, fast food guides. That's all though, guys. This is a really great dinner recipe for the whole family. Thanks for watching.